Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Savieli Tartakova. This game was played in Hungary in 1927. Alexander Lehin had white pieces and he started with e4. Savieli Tartakova played c6, d4, d5, Karo Khan defense, knight to c3, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, black to move, bishop to f5 is the most played move. Second most played move is knight from b to d7. Tartakova played knight to f6. White to move. Most of the time white takes on f6. Alehin played knight to g3. e5. Knight to f3. e takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Bishop to c5 attacking the knight. Queen to e2 check. Bishop to e7. Bishop to e3. Black to move. Tartakova played c5. Beta was a castling king's side. c5 was played, attacking the knight. But Alehin found the best spot for the knight. What is the best spot for the knight? He played knight from d to f5, attacking the pawn on g7. Well, bishop takes knight was possible, but then knight takes knight, and Tartakova didn't want to surrender his bishop pair, so he castled kingside. Queen to c4 in order to develop his light squared bishop. Rook to e8, lining the rook with white king. Bishop to d3, b6 intending, bishop to a6 attacking the queen x the bishop on d3. Alehin castled queenside. Black to move. This is a very important moment of the game. What would you do? Should black continue with the original plan? Bishop to a6? Or should he change to bishop to e6? Hmm? Tartakova played bishop to a6 and we have reached the most critical position of the game. White to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find knight to h6 check? What is the purpose of this move? This is clearing the path for the bishop. The king goes to f8, then queen takes on f7, check, mate. And if king goes to h8, then knight takes on f7, check, King to g8, knight to h6, double check, king to h8, and now. What would you do? Queen to g8, check. Rook takes queen, and now the obvious. Knight to f7, smothered checkmate. So Tartakova capture the knight. Bishop takes on h7. Check. Discovered attack on black queen. If king takes bishop, what happens then? Then queen takes on f7. Check. Tartakova captured with the knight. Queen to g4. Check. Saving white queen. King to h8, rook takes queen, success, rook takes rook. 
But black has three pieces for the queen. White pieces are more active. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Hmm? The best move for white is... Queen to e4, forking the rook and the bishop. Saving both by sacrificing the knight. Queen takes knight. Bishop to f8, defending the pawn on h6. Knight to f5. One more attacker on the pawn. Bishop to c4. Bishop takes on h6. Bishop to d5, attacking the queen. Queen to c7. Rook from a to c8. Queen to f4. Rook to c6. Bishop takes bishop. Rook takes bishop. Queen to e5 check, forking the king and the bishop. Knight to f6. White to move. What would you do? White. Play the move when black resigned. The move is... Knight to d6, cutting the communication between the rook and the knight. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Rook takes knight, queen takes rook, king to g7, defending the defender of the bishop on d5. And one possible continuation goes like this. Queen to g3 check, king to h7. Queen to f4, threatening queen takes knight. Defending the knight. h4. Bishop to e6, saving the bishop. If black wants to save the knight by playing knight to h7, then rook to h3 is possible, but h5 is also possible. Check. King to g7. Queen to e5, check, forking the king and the bishop. After king to h6, queen takes bishop. And if black wants to save the bishop by playing bishop to e6, then queen to g5, check. King to h7, queen takes knight. And we can stop here. And let's go back to this most interesting moment of the game. This is the position. Did you find the killer move? And the follow-up. If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.